Mm, too close. Hello, boys and girls of YouTube. Welcome back. I'm Brian. You're on the BS Adventure Channel. We're getting back to some van stuff today. Going to work on some roofing stuff and some floor stuff and some other stuff and this kind of stuff and that kind of stuff. Let's roll. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's been a few days. We had some weather and stuff and, and I was doing some other things. I am going to try and coat this roof today. So I'm just kind of taping the edge just to give a nice seam. And then I cleaned this the other day. And I'm just going to pour this roofing stuff out. And then I'll show you that in a minute. And then roll it out and see how it goes. When it's all, I'll bring you in when it's all taped off. And when I actually start rolling it out, see how it goes. Let's open this stuff up. This is the product I'm using. Uh, I'm no expert on this. I asked for my dad's advice. He's definitely smarter than me when it comes to this kind of thing. And that's what he recommended, so hopefully it works. This can was only slightly damaged. So let's open it up and see if it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, that looks like liquid-ish. So that's, that's good, boy, that stuff is thick. Maybe I'll get a stick to scoop that out. Yeah, let's get rolling on this. <laughs> No pun intended. Let's see if I can go up the ladder with no hands. This, I don't recommend this. I don't like ladders. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yep. Almost lost that. Hmm. Wow, that stuff is thick and goopy. Is this gonna spread with a brush? I might need a, oh yeah. Of course that was dumb, I just put it in front of me. I really should start in the middle and work towards me so I'm not leaning over the shit. Okay, note to self, use your brain. What we'll do is we'll do this little corner and then we'll move the ladder so I'm not leaning over it. Boy, that shit goes on thick. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and work on this for a while. I think I'm gonna put some out in the middle and roll it out and then work around the edges. Let me talk to the camera. And then I can work around the edges uh, and not be leaning over it like I just did here. I just kind of wanted to test on the seam and see how it kind of sealed that seam. It looks like that's gonna work pretty good. Yeah, let me get going on this, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, Whew. it's hot. So here's what I figured out. The roller, no bueno. Um, the brush is even difficult. I can use it kind of in some spots. This stuff is super goopy. So I have a stir stick and I already broke it, but that's what the rag's for to keep my hand less goopy. goopy. Basically you just scoop this. Hopefully, should hopefully have enough to finish. That on there and then I just went down the basement and I made this little thing out of a quarter inch piece of plywood it's just a little scrap with rounded edges and a flat you know that part's flat there and basically I'm just troweling this stuff so it's like frosting a cake or if you ever done bondo basically it seems to be the best and then like these seams ooh, this is kind of a reach See if I don't kill myself. So I kind of scoop that in the, that seam. Can you see that? And then the thing too, I didn't even plan this, but that makes a nice uh, transition. So that wasn't even planned, but it worked out. Yeah, you can see back here where I rolled it and it just, just didn't do well. It's already starting to go off. Yeah, so I just do this. I just try and smooth it out. You know, it's not gonna be perfect. It might, well, if I have enough, it might need a second coat in some of the thin spots. I might run out of this shit, I don't know. It's um, kind of going through it. It just goes on so thick. I mean, look how, you know, that stuff is thick. 
Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I, maybe I'll have enough to get it done. If not, um, well, figure something out. I'm not even looking at the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. So yeah, just gob it on, just like you would frosting. And grab your paddle deal. God, I got the shit all over my hands. I was trying not to do that. And then I try to work uh, away from me, towards me. No, don't do that. That way I'm not. That way I'm not leaning in it like I am right now. And I don't like ladders, by the way. I think I already mentioned that. So this is extra fun. It's funny. I can go mountain bike, like on the side of a cliff somewhere, with eminent death if you fuck up. And it doesn't bother me. A hike, you know, razorback ridges, whatever. It doesn't bother me. Um, this, up on a ladder, bothers me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. My hands are covered in this shit. I can't even touch the camera. Yeah, there's where the roller ended up. It didn't work. I don't know how you guys do it in the south, man. Can't wait to go back to the desert. You guys can have this fucking humidity. <clears throat> Anyways, I got it coated. It ain't pretty, but I think it'll seal. And there is some thin spots where you can kind of see the fiberglass. I don't know if I'm going to have to go back over those. I have just a little bit left. We'll see. But I like doing this. Peeling tape. Okay, got to move the ladder again. Okay, I got that coated. Made a nice mess. So I got to clean all this up, which I will. It's pretty white. It's a little thin over there. I was kind of running out. We'll let this dry, see how it does, test it for waterproof. And if it needs a little more, I do have a little bit left. I'm going to clean up and go inside and make some food. I'm hangry. <laughs> and, uh, I'm hot. This humidity out here is bonkers. It's, it's not even that hot. I, I think it's only like low 90s, but the humidity just kills you. <sighs> Let me clean up this mess. I'll see you guys in a bit. In a, in a bit. Hey guys, it is bright and sunny out here and this white roof is very reflective. <laughs> so I'm just going to spray some water on it and test it out. Um, I'm a little bummed out about this product. It, um, you know, I just, I didn't, I read the directions and then I just went for it and it came out like paste uh like uh you know like a glue stick when you're a kid like super goopy and stuff and i was like man this stuff is really thick and pain in the ass and and then i i showed you i came up with the squeegee kind of thing to put it on and then um looked up a video after i had done all this and it's supposed to be a liquid that pours out and you can roll it out so i'm pretty sure i got some old product and yeah i'm you know i'm not real stoked on it because of the condition of it and uh it's too late now it's on here but it just it just looks like shit um you know if it functions that's fine no one's ever going to see it but it i'm really disappointed in how it turned out so yeah so let's water test it and if it doesn't leak then i'll um try to never look at it again and not think about it yeah because you know just avoid your problems that's a good way to make them go away right From what I could tell, like this is actually a pretty good product when I was watching the videos. I think I just got a really old can of it. Um, I'm gonna look up the supplier and I'm gonna let you know who it is. Don't buy from them. The first package was damaged and the stuff was open and dry and garbage. And then this one was also damaged, but not open. And the product is, was junk. I think they sent me like a very old product. They were super difficult to deal with on returning the first package. Um, they didn't want to return it. Uh, their price went up. They wanted to charge more. It's like, hey, man, you did a shitty job packaging it. I'm not paying extra because your price went up between the time you I bought it and the time I received it. And Yeah, so anyways, don't get me started on that. Uh, I can't speak for it in the state it's supposed to be. I assume it would go pretty good. It looks like the water beads up on it. You know, it, it looks okay. It's just... <clears throat> This particular batch was total garbage. Anyways, let's see if it leaks. 
Okay, I don't see any drips or anything, which is good. I think there was a small leak over here. Seems like it took care of that. Oh, I hear the cat. Hi, cat. And then, let's see, where's my hole? Ah. Yeah, no leaks there. There was another, ugh, there was another hole. I forget where, but anyways, I, I don't see anything obvious. Um, I'm not stoked on the aesthetics, but it should function fine. Yeah. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I got that roof sealed. What I'm doing here, I coated these panels. I, I, I was, this was in a video a while back. So these are gonna be my subfloor and then this rubber undercoat, undercoating goes down towards the ground. So any water vapor or spray that comes up hits the rubber undercoating and doesn't rot my hardwood floors I'm putting in. I'm putting oak floors in the van. I already mentioned that. So I ran out of the blue Raptor liner stuff a while back and I'd planned on using the leftovers, the leftover rubber from the roof to kind of finish up. Well, I didn't have any leftover rubber from the roof. So I just went down and bought, you know, uh, this undercoating shit or whatever and um, finished up. I just wanted to kind of do the edges or any water might wick up. And then uh, like this, this whole panel hadn't been done. So I did that one, etc. So I'm probably gonna pull the van down here to the back and test fit this stuff. I'm working on the uh, subfloor and I just kind of got it um, in place here. I marked my beams. Uh, that way, this is gonna be underneath my hardwood floor and that way I have nice straight lines for my screws for the hardwood. And what I'm gonna do now is actually, this is just a dry fit. I'm gonna pull these boards out and then glue them in and then I have some scraps I'm just going to use to kind of put screws in to hold these down and for the glue to set, let it sit for a day or two or whatever, pull the scraps and the screws out and then I'll start putting the hardwood in. I'm not going to do the rear right now because I still got to fix the leaks on the door. These doors have some leaks and then so I'll finish these other little zones. Where are you? I, I was just about to start filming when you honked it. I didn't have it on. I knew you were going to do it, and it still made me jump. Oh, you heard me? I, yeah, I heard you tromping through the grass. <laughs> still made you jump, huh? Next day, I'm going to pull these little tabs where I screwed down the floor. Oh, that glue should be cured. I have I put glue down to put that little panel in there and then forgot to put it in, so now the glue's dried, so I'll have to cut that out and redo that. Genius me. I think I'm going to pull that out clean in here a little bit. Hi, right, I'm here. And then um, maybe start doing the layout with the hardwood. I sprayed foam, spray foam, spray, spray foamed in around that gas fill over there. I glued these, got this guy in here, this guy in here. I have these kind of putting pressure on it. So I'm gonna let this glue cure for a little while. I think I'll make some lunch, come back. I, I think I'm gonna lay the hardwood floor from this work from the door and work that way instead of, originally I thought maybe I'd start over here and work towards the door. So I'm back out this evening. Uh, I took a break for a while there. It was pretty hot and muggy and I was a little hangry. I needed to eat some food. I actually fell asleep for a minute. So all fed and fueled, it cooled off a little bit. Still muggy, but not as hot. Came back out. I started doing layout on the floor, trying to figure out where the boards are gonna lay, how this is gonna work, just kind of work through the process in my head. You guys are gonna to have to tune in next week to see what's going on with those hardwood floors. See you then. And that's the end of the show. <laughs>